Alright. Mike's working, things are working. Cool. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be a short stream. I'm not uh, in a good mood. So, we'll see. Maybe streaming and chatting will up my mood. We'll see. Um, doo -doo -doo, it's St. Patrick's Day. So, my lights behind me are green. But on camera, they look blue. Same with my flag. My flag is green. But it looks blue. Weird. Anyways. Oh. Mabel's, Mabel's here. So. Oh. oh, I should have made my house green. Oh, well, too late. actually just grab our mail and then we'll change into our St. Patrick's Day. Thanks, Shano. Hello, Sherry. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We are going green. How was your stream earlier? I saw you were live, but I was at work. <laughs> so I couldn't tune in. Isn't there a St. Patrick's Day shirt? I mean, I have a lot of green, so, like, that's not a huge problem, but, like... Like, that's fine. I might have sold it because I don't use it. Except this one time a year. Or should we do... These are cute. I'm naked without my glasses on. I think I have shamrock. If not, I'll just use a green bow and that's fine. Oh, cute. I have to change my hair though, so, but that's fine. <gasps> Wait. Yeah. Do I have green glasses? Let's see. Oh, the shamrock ones? Yeah, I do. I was playing South Park and couldn't work out the controls, but somebody in chat was helping me out. That's good. I'm glad someone was helping you out. That's, um... That's good. I have my St. Patrick's Day outfit on today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was all dressed up at work. Um... I just, I had to walk home, so, and it was raining, so I changed because I was soaked. Let's see. I guess a little claspy purse. And then we'll change our hair. I was going to make my house green, but I forgot to do that last night, so. Oh, well. Oh, well, no. I wish I could sit on this chair and use the mirror, but alas, I cannot. I don't know why it's saying I only have, I don't have any viewers, but clearly, Sherry, you're here. Weird. And I don't think Jasmine is going to be, um, modding today. The... There we go. Right here. Let's see what looks good with this. It needs to be like 
one that has a lot of hair in the front. Oh, that could be cute. Yeah. Cute. Ugh. That walk was not pleasant. Usually, like, if I'm walking, I have a backpack, but I didn't have a backpack today. I had, like, a shoulder bag, and it kept falling, and then I fell twice outside. Because it's raining, and I was wearing Crocs. And I guess rock. Um, it's pretty slippery. I was building a little afternoon tea area in front of my museum. Ooh! That's cute. I've always wanted to do afternoon tea. We don't have that here. In the States. But. Twitch is weird. I had two people talking to me at one time on Sunday, but it said I only have one viewer. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, it literally says I don't have any viewers. What's up with that, Twitch? <laughs> I know, sometimes it just does weird things. Should I make something with potatoes? So five years ago, um, Jazzy and I were in Ireland and when I went over here in America for St. Patrick's Day, we have corned beef and cabbage with carrots. It's like your typical St. Patrick's Day meal. And, um, when I went over to Ireland, I was like, oh yeah, traditional Irish, like St. Patrick's Day food. Um, it is not corned beef and cabbage. Um, that's an American Irish thing. Because when people migrated to here, which bless their souls, um, the and they were super discriminated against, um, so they couldn't get jobs, so they were super poor. Uh, corned beef was very cheap. It was the cheapest meat. So, Irish Americans started to eat corned beef, and cabbage was cheap. Uh, corned beef and cabbage on St. Patrick's Day. Fun fact. So when we went to Ireland, um, there was no corned beef, and we didn't really eat, because we thought we would eat at the pubs. Um, nope. Pubs don't have food. Um, here in the States, there's lots of food. Like, not a lot, but like... There's pretzels or chips or what we call like bar food, like snacks, you know, to soak up the alcohol or whatever. Um, and some bars also have like full meals. Um, apparently that's not a thing in Ireland. So we, <laughs> we didn't eat. And on St. Patrick's Day, a lot of bars are 25 plus, even though the drinking age is 18. So... Um, we couldn't get in because we were like 21. Yes, Muffy? Are you thinking about leaving? Do I say bye to Muffy? If I, if I tell Muffy to move away, because I have her picture, so she, she's like, fine. Do I need to village hunt today? 
because I was thinking about doing that on Sunday. Or would I need to do that tomorrow? It would be tomorrow, wouldn't it? Maybe I can do, maybe I can stream tomorrow. As long as I don't travel two days. See, Jazzy's here and it says I have no viewers, so I have at least two. That's weird. As long as you don't time travel, I have two days. It says three. It says zero on mine. That's odd. Maybe on my, my app, maybe it'll say the correct number. Because it still says I'm hosting somebody. Um, what's tomorrow? Friday? What am I doing tomorrow? Maybe we'll village hunt tomorrow. I'm not doing anything. I didn't, I didn't stream Sunday, so I could stream tomorrow in village hunt. We'll do bingo. I have to figure that out. I have to figure out. Hold on. Maybe 6 p.m. stream to Village Hunt so we can research? What? Okay, either way, I think I'm going to say bye bye to Muffy. Because I wanted to it on Sunday, and I don't really mind doing... I really sometimes hate time traveling, like the 15 days or whatever, to like... It's so annoying sometimes. So maybe tomorrow... Tomorrow's a half day. Oh, but only for the students. Dumb. Yeah. Yeah, we'll stream tomorrow. So I'm going to say bye, Muffy. I just redid her house. That's right. Go spread those wings. Um, actually, you know what we could do today is we can make Muffy's home on Happy Home. Actually, I think I have Muffy. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today. Let's see, happy home. Let's see, let's see. I have Muffy, so we don't have to do hers. Which is like kind of nice because I really didn't really want to design a house today. I just wanted to like play. Okay. Bye, Muffy. Hi, Kitty. Um, I did want to do more fossils and, like, give more residents fossils, so we'll do that. Sorry, that took me five hours to figure out. Um, oh, my God. I was on my island just the other day. I have so much stuff. Um, so we'll say hi to people after because I want to dig up all my fossils so I can give fossils to residents that I need pictures for. Nana, Kitty, Sp Nana, Kitty, Shino, Poppy. I don't want to like kick them all off like all at once. I want to like phase it, but I want the ability if someone asks to leave, except Eric and Flora, we can. 15 sticks, two weeds, five fossils, and two gyroids. Five fossils? I thought it was three. 
I guess not. Oh look, we can put Muffy's, well, I'll have to build her a graveyard. I'm gonna need a bigger space for the graveyard. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> Okie dokies. Oh my god, I went to McDonald's after work. Because it's on my way. These teenagers got kicked out and got the call the cops called on them. It's crazy bananas. So I'm also drained because I had to sit there and witness that while my fries were being made. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, it's Chino. Now I hear her yelling outside. <laughs> ah, it's always a fun day, isn't it? Hello, Patrick. Ah, oh, Eric's not home. Eric, go home. Don't sit down. Ugh, annoying. I hear my daughter. I haven't said hello to her. I came in pissy. Hi, Bubbles. Hi, little buggy. Say hi, lady. I missed you today. You my good boy. Lady's wearing her St. Patrick's Day collar. Where are you going? I'm not done showing you off. No, thank you. Look. Ah. Uh. She's got her St. Patrick's Day collar. It's got little, like, rainbows and shamrocks and... Ugh. Goodbye. Now she's yelling at mom. Mom showed me on stream. That's what she's saying. Gyroid. Squeakoid. I just want more fossils. Over here. See Nana's home. We're gonna like visit people once I kind of get fossils. Okay, well that's good enough for me. Kitty's sleeping. Oh my god. Look at her. Okay. One of our elderly ladies I take care of has a cat called Farth Thing, and she calls her Lady, too. That's cute. I... So we have a cat named Snoopy. Oh, man, I forgot to get... <gasps> oh, man. She's all dressed up. What does it say? Little Miss sh Shenanigans. This, this is my cat, everybody. Welcome to my stream. This is Little Miss Shenanigans. That's what her little tutu says. It's got a little shamrock on it, showing your Irish pride. Good afternoon, Loki. Oh, 
What a day to be Loki. Green, mischievous. Hmm. She's a good girl. I am also wearing green. My lights um, by my flag are green. It just looks blue on camera. It's so weird. It was an accident you were green. I work in education, so I'm always dressed to the nines in whatever holiday or theme it is for the day. Except tomorrow. Tomorrow's athletic wear day. I don't like that. Because we have what's called Fun Fridays. So last week was PJ Day. We've had Disney Day, which of course I go full out for. Um, this week is Athletic Wear Day. And next week is Wear Green for some disease thing. Because I work in special ed. So... Are you leaving me? On little shenanigans? It's comfy, I guess. I'm more comfy in dresses. <laughs> Lady! Come here! She's like, I'm out of here. You could be in Trudeau wear, and that's like a bathroom. <laughs> My wife and I almost exclusively wear dresses because you don't have to match anything. You just put one thing on and it goes with everything. So less effort on my part. We wear it if it's freezing cold out. I only have two fossils. Oh my gosh. If it's cold out, if it's however out, um, I also need to get gift wrap out. It's okay. No. Ready? Watch this. So this is what we call her crack. She hears the bag. Do you hear her? It's little like hairball control. Temptations. She's peeved. She always comes. We call this her crack because she becomes a crack addict when this lady lady she's peeved in college I dressed for a mask for androgynous Loki that is me. When I met my wife, I sh had shaved hair. Well, not when I first met her, but throughout my process of our relationship, I had, like, shaved hair. Um, I only wore men's clothing. And then literally one year, I was like, pretty, pretty princess. And it's been that way ever since. See, we have an entire closet of outfits for her. Okay, not a closet full, but, like, we have quite a few. She's just angry. One, I came home and I didn't give her any attention. I came straight here to my streaming area. So I didn't give her attention, number one. That was mistake, big one. Um, number two, um, first time I saw her, I picked her up and put her on camera. So she's a little peeved. And third, um, she's in her little uniform. Yep, I had short boy hair for eight years, from 18 to 25. I'm 27 now, and I have a bit longer hair for a couple of years. Let's see, I cut my hair when I was, like, 19. 
And I had that until I've been growing it out. I like buzzed it. I'm throwing in a little tutu. I apologize for the mess. Hey! What is this? What is this? Oh, are these your treats? This is hard to do one handed. I know! Ladies, they smell like crap. Here we go. Look at her cute little tutu. Did you eat all of those already? She's a cuckoo banani. That's what we call her. No more. You've had enough. She's like, no more. Okay, I have to get back aiming. I love you. Go see mamas. Yes, Mama wants to see you. Um, <laughs> we are just playing. We've been very distracted by Lady today. Um, so we just kicked. Muffy just asked to leave my island, so I said bye, Muffy. Um, and today I'm trying to get more resident pictures. So one way to do that. I needed to get wrapping paper. One way to do that is to give them assessed fossils. Um, so I'm going to, to do that because... So we're just getting wrapping paper and we're getting... You've never received a resident picture. Loki, have I showed you my graveyard? Maybe I'll go over to my graveyard. I don't kick out a resident unless I have their picture. Um, I'll show you. Hold on. Let me get these assessed. Um, oh, good. This is plenty. Because we have Nana Kitty. Nana Kitty, Shino, Poppy, Kid. So I only need five because I have everyone else's pictures. Yeah, yeah, Blathers, I I know. My collection is complete. Just, all right, let me show you my graveyard. I am missing a few residents in my graveyard because my first jock I kicked out, um, I didn't get his picture because I don't like jocks, so I got rid of him. I had Sterling. I do have Shino. Um, I found her. She came to my campsite, just like rando day, came to my campsite so I had her move in I think okay let me go hi Nana let me go to the graveyard it's up here nope can't cut through there anymore I forgot oh yeah here's Shino I love Shino she's the cutest all right so I have my little graveyard over here So, <laughs> I have Agnes, Phoebe, Meringue, Pango, Fauna, Molly, and Deanna. <laughs> I'm missing Sterling and Boomer and Piper. Those are the only three that I'm missing. I didn't get their pictures. But, yeah. I'm going to have to, like... I was thinking about making a graveyard island, so like having it surrounded by water. I was thinking about doing that as one of my stream things. Because I'm not very creative in that way, but you guys are creative enough, so I um, take your advice. Wrap a skull. Wrap. 
another skull and a last wrap. We'll wrap a wing. All right, so we need Poppy Shino. Hello, weeds. Poppy Shino. I think Poppy's in our house, so let's go to Poppy's house because she's nearby. She is in our house. Poppy. She calls me Bagel. It's the cutest thing. <laughs> Poppy bagels are my favorite bagel. Um, and as a Jew, um, you can't argue me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But really, Poppy bagels are the best. Go ahead, open it. A left wing. Thanks. An apron. Ugh. <gasps> Poppy. I didn't want an apron. I wanted your picture. It's so funny. I, residents that have been on my island for a long time, so hard to get their picture. But, like, I just got Eric, and he's just like, here you go. Like, hello? Bye, Muffy. Okay. I do need to give Kitty not home. Savannah, I have her picture. Nana was over here. Oh, get up, Nana. Yes, I have Eric. I spent 199 Nook Mile tickets looking for Eric. So he is never allowed to leave. Him and Flora. Those are my two that I'm like, I have two Flora pictures. Um, never allowed to leave. Never, ever. They're permanent residents. Flora's, Flora has asked to leave and I'm like, who, who? Do you think you are? I actually have Flora. She's on the floor. I have her in plushy form. Nana, can you get off the sleigh? It is St. Patrick's Day. It is not Christmas. Ugh. You have an all cat island. I have a friend who's trying to do that. I have Kitty. She's my cat. Um, actually, here, I'll show you a map. So, I have me. I have a beach house. Um, Flora. We have Kid. We have Sprinkle. Poppy. Muffy. Shino. Eric. Savannah. Kitty. And Nana. I got fake amiibos. Oh, I have, what is it, 300 amiibos? But they're like little tiny ones. Maybe my wife can bring me the amiibos. Unless she left to grab food. I don't know. <gasps> Nana's up. Don't sit down. I think my wife may have left. There you go. Here's a skull for you. Ugh, Nana! I kind of want to get rid of Nana. I'm, like, not a huge fan of the monkeys. But she's cute because she's, like, a little baby. Kid! Oh, there you are. I thought Kid would be a permanent resident, too. But, um... I have a new boyfriend. His name is Eric. <laughs> yeah, I know he already has it. You're welcome. Thanks. Kid! Literally on stream, yes, or whenever I streamed on Tuesday, um, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get pictures, and my first person, Sprinkle, gave me a picture. I was like, oh. Thanks, Sprinkle. Is Eric in his house? No. There he is! Do you know Olivia? I love Olivia. She's so cute. She's your wife. Um, Olivia's really pretty. 
Kitty's kind of... If I had to have a wife, I think it would be Kitty. Do -do -do -do. Speaking of Kitty, she was here. But I... Balloon! 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 Where did it go? Oh, here it is. My slingshot. That's okay. That's fine. I hate when I do that. <gasps> Alright, what did we get from the sky? Oh, here it is. I was like, where's my present? It's literally... Ugh, I do it all the time. It's so annoying. Oh, thanks for the iron nugs. I think I might actually... Sorry, there's like something on my face. Um, might need iron nugs. I'm being guilt-tripped by your guinea pigs. <laughs> what are the piggies doing? Yes, kitty. I'll just. How funny would it be if I just did meow? Me? How do you spell meow? Me. Ow. Meowzer. Yeah. Meowzer. I said hello to them, so now they are sitting on the <laughs> expanding a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peggy is Kitty, get back here. I have to give you something. Yes, you. What is my cat getting into? Let's see, what is she going to give me? No pictures today, but that's fine. That's fine. Alright, we have to get a few things because I... Camo Frog asked for a new catchphrase today, so I have to say I'm just... <laughs> yes! Alright, let's get all these things. And I have to get a thingamajiggy. What are those called? Slingshot out. Here we go. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. No, I do not want this in place of my slingshot. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay. Let's see. What sorts of fun things do we have today? I turn bowls over now. Nay. I really wish we could put rugs outside. I'm just saying. Rugs outside would be so nice. Um. I think we're going to fish today because I'm missing a lot of fish. So I think we're going to try and fish today. Um, Mr. Fishy. Um, most of them are like river fish because I don't like to fish in the river. I like to fish like in the ocean. So because I'm missing, I'm missing a lot. I have a whole list. I'm missing, let's see. Like, I'm missing a whole bunch. So, we're just gonna fish the, the ponds and the rivers for a little bit while we're all decked. 
because why not? Um, I hate when fish do that. Mr. Fishy Fish, get over here. <gasps> Mr. Fishy Fish. Hello? <gasps> Hello? Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, I clicked on it, but then it, like, lagged. Ugh. I hate coming from I'm off my island ASAP. <laughs> I got Octavian off my island. I was like, bye. He like didn't even have a chance to back. It's like, I don't want you. Thank you very much. Thanks for trying. He was an autofill. I was so pissed. It was like when I first got the game, I didn't like really know how the game worked. Canis, a smelt, a loach. Um, Muffy, Ugh. in my way, Muffy. That's fine. You're leaving anyways. I literally just redid her house too. <laughs> That's fine. All right, let's see what's in the pond. Huh? There's nothing in the pond. What? There's always something in the pond, isn't there? Sometimes this game frustrates me. I know it's supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> I also just had a day. That What was that, Ace? Try again. That's not going to work. <gasps> Mr. Fishy, turn around. Mr. Fish, turn around. You don't want to do that. Fine. I'll come over here. Oh, there's another fishy. Look at that. Mr. Fish. I uh, apologize. I suck at fishing. This is not my strong suit. I'm much better in the ocean. I hate river fishing, which is why I have like no river fish. Because I don't like to, I don't like to fish in the rivers or the ponds. Oh my God. The ponds are the worst. <sighs> Fishing on stream is hard actually because kind of lags a little. And so it's kind of hard to see when the fish bite. No entryway fish either. Here, let's go check my pond over here. What? Why are there no fishies in my pond? I need pond fishies. Annoying. Mr. Fishies. I also don't like fishing in real life, so. We'll go over here. I played on my Switch late for the first year and a half. The first time I played on my Switch, the vibrating like fish really threw me. Does it not vibrate with the light? Really? Uh, 
Oh. I had no idea. Did I have that fish? Yeah. I, ne I never had a light. I've always had just like... <gasps> That's a big fishy. I hate pond fish. Ah, uh, just a carb. No entryway fishies. I had no idea that it didn't vibrate. That's interesting. I know you get frogs. I think I have the frogs. I think it's... I know I need, like, the Rancho Goldfish... There are other things, like, that are in season. I don't remember what it is. It's, like, written down in, like, an actual notebook because I'm old. <laughs> I, like, wrote down all the fish I'm missing, but then I, like, went and I got a note. Like, I used my notebook and I wrote down when, where I catch those fish, what times, and what season. And the rarity. But that's, like, all the way in the living room and... My wife is not here to grab it for me, and I'm lazy and don't want to stand up and look for it myself. <laughs> so. So tomorrow, we're going to do a stream. Um, to go village hunting, we're going to do bingo. We're going to do... Um, yeah, let's go to Harv's Island. Bingo... We'll use Nook Mile tickets to just go ham. I don't know what... Yeah, I was right. My wife is not home. I like how she knows I don't answer my phone when I'm streaming. So she's... <laughs> she message me and... Message, blah, 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 messages me in stream. You guys want to know a tongue twister? And it's appropriate because it's St. Patrick's Day. Irish wrist watch. Literally, if I don't say it that slow. Irish wrist watch. It just, it, I really have to like think and articulate my words. Irish wrist watch. I have to like over pronounce because it's so hard. <laughs> I, I had, um, uh, my kids are nonverbal, but I had me and my teacher, we were like going back and forth about like Irish wrist watch and <laughs> Because we're getting, like, cracking up. It was so funny. Like, that's really hard to say, like, if you try it. Especially doing it, like, really fast. It's so hard. Irish wristwatch. Irish wrist... I could do it, like, once, but then after that, it's like... Bleh! Doesn't work. Irish wristwatch, Irish wristwatch, Irish wristwatch, Irish. Oh, okay. So I did it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, but anyways, I'll stop with that because that's. I don't care if it's fake. I have this one. Um, and I just want to get it like. Like, if you buy one thing from Harv's with red, it'll get replaced to something different. And then maybe it'll be something I don't have. Um, whereas, like, Kicks in Sahara, they don't do that, which is annoying. <gasps> I love these bears. Do you have Pheasant Plucker Tongue Twister? No. 
Sherry, we do not. Peasant Plucker Tongue Twister. We have Sally. Sally sold seashells on the seashore one. Or Peter Piker picked a pepper. Blah, 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 blah. I don't remember what it's called. Here, we'll look up some tongue twisters. Let's see if we can uh, accomplish them. Tongue twisters. I was in theater in high school and we had to do tongue twisters. Yes, I have been in theater since like third grade and I'm 26. So let's see. Oh yes, this one was always my favorite. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of butter, better butter will make my batter better. That's a good one. Um, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he wood as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. When I was a teacher in Korea, I made Sun Tzu tongue twisters for stamps. What? That's pretty cool, though, that you were a teacher in Korea. That's, like, so unique. I'm not a pheasant plucker. I'm a pheasant plucker's son, and I'll sit here plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. I almost swore in that. <laughs> Instead of, and I'll sit here plucking pheasants, I was like... <laughs> We did that one in theater. We didn't do that one in theater. If you can't can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner can if he can can candy cans? <laughs> Some of these are just... <laughs> Some of these are just funny. <laughs> I love, like, random stuff like that. Okay, let's see what Sahara has to offer here. I'm also a very fast talker, so, like, naturally. So, I think... What is this? Red and blue trigger. Um, I think that helps. Six slippery snails slid slowly seaward. Blah, 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 seaward. The 33 thieves thought they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. Th 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 those are hard. Like, that's a hard, like, vowel or sound th th to do. Um, it's so funny. I'm, like, always so mindful of, like, those type of things because my students... Um, because some of the, like, one's totally nonverbal, the other one's, like, mostly nonverbal, but will say hi and bye and yes, and then the other one's pretty vocal, but uses a device the majority of the time. Um, so, like, we have a, a TA in our class named Shelby, and the sh, sh, LB is like kind of hard to pronounce. Whereas, like, I wouldn't have thought about it otherwise of it being a hard word. So, ace is pretty simple. That's not a, a hard uh, word to say. But I am not a speech pathologist. So, I, I consult with speech, speech people every day, but, um, I am not a professional speech pathologist, nor did I go to school for that. So But, um, I think when my wife gets home, which should be like 15 minutes, we will 
I'll sign off because we're going to have our corned beef and cabbage, even though it's not an Irish meal. Oh, yeah, but when I did, when I was in Ireland five years ago, um, the pubs were like 25 plus, like age wise. Oh, I already said that, Ace. My oldest brother is called Gordon, and one of his, and one of the others couldn't say his name and called him Dude. <laughs> My mom started calling him Dude after that. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. Okay, is Eric in his house yet? Ugh. Oh, we didn't say hi to Flora. My brother. So we have, um, when I was a senior in high school, um, I was, my parents got a dog and we named her Lila and she is not with us anymore. But, um, we got another dog and we named him Milo. And then my grandma was like, um, no thanks, Jazzy. I'll just keep it sober, I guess. Cause I'm going to do other things. Um, my grandma then was like, wait, I want a dog. And so then she got a dog and she was only going to get one because grandpa never wanted a dog. Like he was very anti-dog and we're just going to switch to chatting cause I'm not really doing anything. And, um, whoa, why's my camera not working? Why? <gasps> <sighs> Ooh, bless me. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. We good. Uh, thank you. Um, and my grandma wanted one. So when they contacted the breeder, the breeder was like, yeah, we have a dog, blah, blah, blah. Same breeder as where my dad got his two dogs. And he asked, like before, they were from Texas and we are in New England. So um, they had to fly the dogs out. And he goes, we actually have a runt in the litter. And he can't um, sell. So... Would you like him? And so we said yes. We had a Milo. So I was going to name him Otis because Milo and Otis, duh. Um, it was my brother's turn to name the dog. And so he named him Awesome. For a very long time, I hated that name. I was like, that is not a name. That is like an adjective. I. That's why would we do that? Because um, it was Tilly. Um, Tilly and Awesome. And then I, I grew to love it. So, but that's definitely a weird, weird name. My brother was like seven, I think seven or eight. No. Six. He might've been seven, six or seven when he named him. Me and my brother have 11 years between us. So, um, but yeah, it was, and then every time he went to the vet, cause he had some medical problems, he was a runt. So like most dogs do, um, most runts do. And they were like, he's the only dog I've ever known with this name. So like, that was kind of cool too. Cause like your oldest brother is 19 years older than you. Oh, wow. My dad was very young when I was born. He was in his teens. And I don't know my mom, but I know, I think my mom is younger than my dad. I think. But nonetheless, teenage parents. So then my dad had my brother at like a typical <laughs> adult age. Because my brother's 40. When I was born and he visited our mom in the hospital, they thought he was her boy, her toy boy. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, my stepmom is from Colombia, so she's got those genes where she just looks young and she's short. Um, I'm five foot two. I don't know what that is in metric. Um, and she's shorter than I am. Um, so she's short and she looks young because she's got those genes that make me jealous. Um, and so for the longest time, every time we went out anywhere, they thought my dad was the dad. And then Angela, Steven, and I were all siblings. <laughs> and she's like, no, um, that's my wife. And then one guy was like, is she a child bride? <laughs> and he's like, no, she's two years younger than I <laughs> like. And we, we would go to friendlies which is like a New England chain, I guess. Um, and she would get the kids menu because she looked very young. She still looks young. She's like in her 40s, early, early 40s, like 42 or something. And she, lo she, she looks like mid 30s at most. Um, I wish I got those jeans, but she's my stepmom, so I did not. <laughs> um, my dad looks old even though he's not that old. <laughs> he's also early 40s. <laughs> so. I got those jeans, and I don't know my mom, so, well. I took a DNA test. That makes me think of that song. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% that. Mm. My Thai sister-in-law is aging really well. Yeah. You know, it's not, not fair. Not fair. Um... Wear your sunscreen. You'll look young forever. I don't know. That's what I was told. If you wear sunscreen, you'll look young forever. I think that's a lie. I mean, I think it'll help, obviously, like skincare. But I also think I'm just going to look old no matter what I do. So <laughs> I am not baby faced. At least I don't think I'm baby faced. Um, when I was thinner, I was I definitely looked a lot younger. Because my face was, like, petite. But now my face isn't petite. I have to cover up anyway as I'm covering everything else. Your baby face. <laughs> I always get honored when I get asked for my ID. I was like, oh, you think I'm letter little? Because it's the drinking age here is 21. So. Um, yeah. I'm always like... And then I think they, certain states raised the smoking age, too, to 21. I used to smoke, but I don't, I don't anymore. Well, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I live in a state that is legal. So. Um, but I. Yeah, I live in New England. I live in Massachusetts. Or as it's called tax a Chusets because we have high taxes. Um, we have high income taxes. You live in Texas. My parents live in Texas. I literally graduated high school. I moved into a dorm and then my parents left. <laughs> They're like, bye, we're moving to Texas. So I go to Texas like once a year. They live in the Fort Worth area. Texas is so big. Like, my brother was like, oh, yeah, my friend's moving across the state. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, yeah, it's like a three-hour flight. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's bananas to me. Texas is so big. Whereas, like, I could drive across Massachusetts in, like, three hours. I went to school in Dallas-Fort Worth area. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a huge fan of Texas. I know DFW because that's the airport I fly into, so I know that that's the airport code. <laughs> Fun fact! Um, I might not go to Texas this year. I don't know. I refuse to go to Texas after, like, May, because then it's... Ugh, it's too hot. I, I don't do heat. And then I don't go back until at least October. 
So from October to like April, I really don't like going in May, but like October to April, it's like the only time I visit Texas. <laughs> I visited last year in June, like early June for my birthday. Ugh, it was so hot. It was like 110 degrees and I was just going to the zoo and I wanted to just pass away. Where I live, the Hispanic population is pretty big. Um, and when I moved to Dallas, where I was, it was all white people. <laughs> yeah. I had more culture shock moving to Dallas, Fort Worth, than when I moved to Korea. <laughs> That's pretty funny, like, how states can be so different. That's the same thing, like, in Massachusetts. Like, North Shore of Boston is very different than South Shore or Boston, or Western Mass, or Central Mass. They're very different. And we're a small state, too. We're, like... Culturally, Massachusetts is very Irish. So, um, that's why St. Patrick's Day is a pretty big thing here. <laughs> um, but, we have a big Irish population. I had a huge culture shock coming home from Korea. Yes. When, so I lived in Finland, um, for a bit and I didn't have any culture shock going there, but coming home, <gasps> it took me so long to integrate back into American culture. Oh my God. It took me, it took me forever. I'm still integrating and I came back in 2019. That's crazy. It was crazy. Suddenly being able to understand everyone's conversation again. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Did you pick up any Korean while you lived? Like, how long did you live there? I also don't... Don't be pressured to answer my questions either. I don't want you to... Feel targeted. Um, Korea's pretty cool. That's a long flight. Texas to Korea. My dad went from New York to Japan, and he was like, I will never do that again. <laughs> um, I was only there for a year. I wanted to stay longer, but someone tell us stuff happened when I got sent home. Yeah. I had a friend in the Peace Corps, and she got sent to some country in Eastern Europe. Um, a couple years ago, and she ended up coming back home because she had a hard time. We're always trying to move back, but I ended up settling down here a bit more. I want to move abroad. That is my life goal. I've wanted to do that since I was eight years old. Um, I always told my dad I was going to move to Paris, um, but then it would be, I don't want Paris anymore. I want to move to Germany. And then it was, I don't want Germany anymore. Um, I want to move to Italy. That didn't last very long, my little Italy phase. And then it was, I want to live in the Nordic. And I didn't really care where. And I still don't really care where. Finland has a special place in my heart. It really does. Um, I actually found out right before I was going to leave to Finland, I got my DNA re results back. And I'm like 20% finished. And I had no idea. Because I don't know my mom. So um, I had no idea. I knew like my dad's side of the family a little bit. Um... It's funny because my maiden name is Marinelli and Marinelli. It's very Italian, but I have no Italian in me. <laughs> so I'm mostly French, French and Finnish. Um, but, and that's why I always felt super connected to Finland because people were like, Ace, why'd you choose Finland to go live in? And I was like, I don't know. It just like called to me. Like that's where my tattoo is actually in Finnish. Um, I forget that. I forget I have tattoos sometimes. Um, this is Beatrice. She's my B. Um, I have what? Five tattoos. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five. I want like a million more, but they're expensive. When I was in Finland, I, and I got my writing, I tried to tip the guy because that's just what we do here. That was like, that was a culture shock, not tipping. Um, that was weird to me. That was, I was like, you sure I don't need to leave you money? 
Like, are you sure? Like, I asked the guy, he he was from Spain, so, like, he spoke uh, Spanish and English. Um, those were, like, his two languages, so he spoke English, and I was like, are you sure I can't tip you? He goes, it's included in, like, the cost. Like, I don't need additional money. And to me, I was like, are you sure? Like, can I just, like, give you, like, at least, like, five euros or something? Because it'll make me feel bad walking out of this this shop without giving you anything. He goes, you gave me something. You paid for the tattoo. And I was like, ah! It just, like, blew my mind. That was one thing that I... But, like, at restaurants, it was so nice. I just kind of, like didn't have to calculate anything in my head i just like wrote down signed gave my payment it was so easy and oh my god i don't know why and it drives me nuts when i came back here why we don't have sales tax included in the price of our things so if your shirt's 24.99 it's not it's whatever the sales tax is and that drives me nuts i have a dragon in a seahorse I have Beatrice, my bee. I have my Finnish tattoo, which is Ella Pelotomasti uh, in Finnish. And then in English, it means live fearlessly. On the back of my neck, I have um, 655321, which is from Clockwork Orange. Do I hear the door? Um, I don't hear the door. Um, I find it so confusing buying groceries in the U.S. The label price is $2 and I expect to take it and pay $2. No. Because why? <laughs> you have 11. Ugh. Dreams. And tattoos are super cheap in Finland. I was like, what? Like, Beatrice cost me... 180 with tip 200 with 200 with tip this was like 50 euros which is like 60 at most 60 dollars in the u.s oh and then i have i wasn't done i have um doo -doo -doo, the disney castle um and then i have a knife that's actually from Once Upon a Time, the TV show. It's Rumpelstiltskin's dagger, but instead of Rumpelstiltskin's name, it says Ace on it. As a way that um, I control my own fate in my future. My Polish friend waits until she's visiting Poland to get her tattoos in. Yeah. In Korea, we're crazy expensive. Ooh, but that's pretty cool that you can say that you, you've been to a famous tattoo artist for like growing up before Kat Von D was a horrible person. Um, I really wanted a tattoo done by her, but no, thank you. <laughs> Not anymore. Um, here in the States, they actually have like tattoo conventions. I went to, um, a comic con, which is like, a comic convention and um, I think you can post links if not you can whisper it to me that's fine too I don't know how to post a link to be honest I'm still like new to twitch I have no idea how this thing works <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out um, I also have a discord I know you can I think you can post links in there I also don't know how discord works so I think I hear my wife. Jazz. Okay, it's not a murderer. We're fine. Okay. Let's see. Let's see his Instagram. I just had to make sure I wasn't going to be murdered. Ooh. His tats are awesome. Ooh, those are really nice. I don't want any colored tats. 
I'm scared my skin won't like color because I'm horrible. I have sensitive skin, so. But I actually fell asleep getting Beatrice and getting this one done. Fun fact. Um, yeah. Because it's, like, close to the collarbone, it was, like, tattoos vibrate, like, your skin. And the vibration put me to sleep. And I have a very high pain tolerance, so it put me right to sleep. <laughs> Fun fact. Um, nobody believes me when I say I fell asleep. But, like, this one, my castle, ugh, that one hurts so, so bad. I don't know why. It's, like, this area of my arm. Oh, my God. It was horrible. And then this one wasn't bad until she got, like, closer to the armpit. So, like, this little part here. That kind of hurt as she got closer, but my neck one like didn't hurt at all. I was he literally was like, "Are you done?" He goes, "All right, I'm done." I was like, "Huh? <laughs> what do you mean you're done?" Huh. I got that like literally the day I turned eighteen. It's from Clockwork Orange. If any of you guys know the book, um, but. The wife is here with dinner. I'm going to go enjoy my American, Italian, Italian, American, Irish, corned beef, potato, cabbage. Oh my gosh. Um, I want to check to see who we can raid. Um, let's see. I do want to support another small channel. Um, okay. Wait, I'm waiting. Oh, you're trying to find your tattoo. Okay. We shall wait. Uh, in American Sign Language, wait. Fun fact. I, it's weird. So at work, I work at a Beverly School for the Deaf. Um, probably shouldn't have said that. But, <laughs> um, we use sign a lot. Chicken shrimp. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Which one's your tattoo? Um, I love that. Whoa. That detail. Those, those little white bits should... <laughs> those probably really hurt. Wow. My wife would love that. She loves Avatar. Yep, oh, there she goes. That's really impressive. That's really impressive. That's an awesome tattoo. Um, but we are going to go say hi. Um, let me just make sure she's in English speaking. Because sometimes. Yes, okay. We are going to go to Mrs. Gozer. She's playing Animal Crossing. Um, she's a, another small channel. Um, so let's go say hi. Thank you guys. I will be tomorrow because we're going to go village hunting. That's not typically on my schedule, but if you guys want to join, um, we'll probably do like 5.30 Eastern time for that. Um, so thank you. Have a great St. Patrick's Day, and I hope everybody has a good rest of your night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.